Chris Brintle. Chris Brintle. News Radio 1270, 1067 KIML. Don Carpenter Show. And it's 832. Thanksgiving, two days away. Yesterday, we shared with you some uh, some ways to talk. What was it yesterday? Ways to talk about uh, uh, climate change and Black Lives Matter at the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> wow. If those come up during Thanksgiving dinner, <sighs> You're the, I'm out. <laughs> in the wrong family. I'm going home. Uh, well, uh, as expected, the... Uh, the Thanksgiving table propaganda suggestions uh, are continuing to come in. And t- the, today we have one from Think Progress, oh, which, no. of course, is the uh, George Soros-funded uh, group. Um, apparently, this one centers around uh, climate-friendly Thanksgiving. Uh, apparent, and apparently, turkey is not good for the environment. Oh so no! A lot of outlets suggest you should go uh, do away with the turkey whatsoever. But if the idea of sacrificing the holiday's classic main course sounds borderline sacrilege, paying attention to the type of turkey you buy can go a long way towards reducing your environmental impact. Of all the traditional Thanksgiving dishes, turkey has the biggest environmental impact. Did you know that? Wow. Biggest environmental impact. Uh, not only does it take more resources to grow than vegetables, well, no, I mean, that's that's pretty well known because it's a turkey. It's a living creature. Uh, turkey also have, often has to travel quite a ways to get to your table. Uh, apparently, the average turkey, uh, cranberries, and potatoes, they, they all travel an average of 1,500 to 2,500 miles from the farm. And, of course, you know that, that burns a lot of diesel fuel for the trucks. Wow. So uh, they they suggest uh, I don't know how what, enlightening all of this you know all of these uh, all, all of this stuff about the turkey being uh, being bad for the environment um, they don't really suggest any alternatives no they don't suggest tofu they don't suggest anything Ham. it just it says turkey's bad but we don't have anything for you well. What's funny about it is they're, they're they've really thought this through with the turkey and and having to drive yeah. the turkey. But yet, when it comes to regular, like, you know, recycling issues, they didn't think it through that really the only thing that's useful yes. to recycle is aluminum. Yeah. And other than that, nothing else <laughs> is used. <laughs> because because somebody gave the example, I heard yeah. it, I don't remember where I heard it, but I guess in Montana, if you recycle something besides aluminum, they use trucks to drive it down to somewhere in Colorado. So by the time <laughs> you, you burn off more emissions by doing that, by recycling, you're actually hurting the environment by recycling anything but aluminum. They probably well, wouldn't agree with that, by the well, way. Well, you know, it, it's the same people that put up these these wind farms that end up killing eagles left and right. <laughs> I mean, we, we worked for 100 years to get the bald eagle out of near extinction, and, and our wind farms are probably going, going to uh, send them right back onto the brink of extinction. Uh, okay, uh, next up, they say, don't cook too much food. Well, what are you supposed to do for leftovers? I mean, and they say package up your leftovers and eat your leftovers and stuff. Uh, don't people do that anyway? I mean, yeah. uh, the leftovers are the best part. So uh, I guess, uh, I guess it's um, you know, I guess it's environmentally environmental uh, environmentally friendly to. Uh, I need to recycle my voice today. <laughs> uh, it's environmentally friendly to eat leftovers, but it's just good. Okay, I, I don't really care about all that. Yeah, there's I mean, no leftovers in my my uh, family's place after Thanksgiving. It lasts maybe 24 hours. That's it. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. So I guess we're environmentalists in that respect. Well, we we must be. <laughs> we must be. I mean, I just like it because it's good. Yeah. You know, if you okay, uh, I know you're uh, you're uh, you're possibly heading to a secret location for a. Uh, uh, for a, a sports event sometime soon. We're not going to break the news on that yet. But uh, uh, if you ever, when you get down to this place, there's a sandwich shop called Capriotti's. They're all over the place in this city that we're talking about. Uh, it's Capriotti's Sandwich Shop. Go in there and order a Bobby. It's a sub with, uh, you know, like a foot long sub roll with uh, turkey, stuffing, and cranberry sauce. Oh. 
It's Thanksgiving on a bun, uh, and it's cold. The, can- the cranberry sauce, though. I, I don't oh. like cranberries. Well, so I that's guess, my issue. I guess you can get it without cranberry sauce. What about sauce. gravy? Can I get brown gravy on there? I think you might be able to. Oh, see, if I can get brown, brown gravy, I'm in. See, now, back east, Wawa is one of the uh, convenience stores, and they started ripping off Capriati's uh, uh, Bobby. Really? Ex- except they, they put gravy on theirs. I hear their sandwiches are really good, too. Wawa? They're not just a gas station sandwich. Like, it's delicious. Yeah, Wawa's good. Sheets is better. Sheets is the best as far as, as gas station sandwiches. Hmm. I mean, they make everything fresh there. They do chicken wings. They do pizza, hot dogs, oh. sandwiches, you know, all kinds of stuff. Last hour, I think we talked about not bringing up food. Yeah. No. And now I'm starving again. Yeah, no. What's Thanksgiving? There's I mean, sausage up front. Oh, I, I saw the crackers you were just, up. The sausage you, wasn't out. You just played a meat for you, DC. Okay. Right up front. Well, uh, and some cheese. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll it's move, very moist. We'll move on. Um, next, they say to uh, drink uh, drinks from companies that are environmentally friendly, uh, including companies that have gone solar. They they suggest uh, Heineken. Oh. Or or uh, drinking uh, something from New Belgian Brewery like Fat Tire beer. I've heard of Fat Tire. Never had it, but uh, because they actively campaign for climate action. Wow. That, that, that'd be a reason for me not to drink it. Uh, okay, now the, what kind of beer? What kind of beer company is getting involved in any political issue, let alone climate change? The, the only the only political issue the beer company should be in is trying to get beer taxes lowered. <laughs> yeah, amen. I mean, really? I mean, come on. I mean, you, you're taking my money that I buy your stupid beer, and you're giving it to these uh, climate change uh, scam artists. It, it, I'll tell you what, I'll never drink fat tire. A lot of times it's a PR ploy. Yeah, well, of course you know, it's a PR ploy. Because yeah. I mean, the, the, the people that buy these, especially these craft brews, are usually hipsters and they, they believe in all this mumbo jumbo witchcraft stuff. Okay, next up. Uh, if you have to tra- hipsters. If you have to travel a long way, you know, if you have to travel a long way to see your family, uh, unless you have a Tesla, which uses coal power, by the way. Uh, I hate to break it to everybody who has these big $100,000 Tesla cars. You're running on coal. <laughs> Some people's heads may have just exploded. Yes. We, we actually have Tesla chargers in town. Uh, one of the hotels has a Tesla charger. Um, yes, it's coal-powered car. Uh, but they say you should go Greyhound. You should take a Greyhound wow. to visit your family. You ever been on a Greyhound? Yes. Don't take a Greyhound. Worst ex- worst thing ever. Okay. Uh, I'll give you my <laughs> I'll give you my Greyhound experience. I actually rode a Greyhound from uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania to Salt Lake City. I left <laughs> the day after Christmas, so it was packed the whole time. It was like it was like being in a prisoner of war camp. <laughs> it was a long trip in a Greyhound. Twenty eight hours or thirty six hours or something like worst that. Worst moments of your life. Because that has to rank up there, it's, right? It's one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever done as that's far as bad. physical comfort. Um, it, it, it's, I mean, that's that's bad. I mean, for for one thing, um, I only switched buses once. I think we switched in Chicago. So I got, this, got to get out and stretch out. But um, since it was the day after Christmas when I left, every bus station was full. Wow. And, you know, and first come, first serve for seats. So you don't have a reserved seat on Greyhound. At least you didn't. Uh, 15 years ago when, when I did this, um, going across Nebraska would stop in every little town and every bus station had people sleeping on the floor. And they want you to do this to uh, go see your family. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. And if you have to drive, carpool. <laughs> wow, thanks. So you could go with strangers <laughs> to your Thanksgiving dinner. Well, you could always, you know, you could just hire somebody. Maybe a woman of the night. I used to I, travel with you. Uh, I I really don't get it. Uh, <laughs> here's a cook with the lid on. Okay, uh, but I don't really see what the big deal about that is. Cook with the lid on. And of course, at the end, they have to throw this in at the end. Uh, make sure you tell all of your family about all of the great things you're doing for the environment. Say they say talk about it. See. And that gets right to my big point. I was going to make a major point earlier because yesterday we had the uncle. How to oh, how to survive your crazy uncle slash grandpa yeah. at Thanksgiving. But usually when it comes to politics, it's that young hipster doofus liberal. Yeah, that, <laughs> that brings let's, something up. Like and they tell face, you to bring it up. Let's face it. Uh, this uh, the, the person that reads this article 
and prints out this article and is going to go uh, preach it to his family at Thanksgiving. Uh, just got off a Greyhound bus for, from 36-hour ride. Didn't take a shower. He stinks. Uh, he, he's eating <laughs> tofu, so he probably has really bad gas. <laughs> And he's going to lecture his family about climate change at the Thanksgiving table. Did I kick him out? Did you? Did you? How far did you drive to get this turkey? Is it a free-range turkey? <laughs> Speaking of Thanksgiving, thanks Thanksgiving horrors. Uh, uh, list them and give us a call. Your, your horror. What, what's your Thanksgiving horror story? Well, we don't have enough time for that. <laughs> I, I mean, I just really, I just don't get it. I mean, well. Why can't we have one holiday? And they'll do the same thing at Christmas time. They'll they'll do the same thing at Christmas time. It'll be a, a list of things to environmentally friendly gifts. Make sure you tell everybody how great you are. And, and that's what it is. That that's what all this boils down to. It's narcissism. Yep. Uh, they want the people that read this Think Progress blog uh, to think they're better than everyone else, and they have to tell everyone else. And, of course, they have key messages. Let's see the key messages real quick. Uh, hey, look, it's it's the uncle again. How to talk to your climate denier uncle this oh Thanksgiving. Boy. This is actually from last year. They do this every year. They have an article, a different article every year. And, and then it, it goes through all of the the, the you know, normal talking points for, for climate change idiots. But, I mean, seriously, if someone... If, if someone came to my house and started preaching this stuff while we're eating turkey, uh, he'd be out back with a dog. <laughs> Seriously, I, I'd, I'd dump his dinner in a dog dish and say, there you go, eat with the dog. Yeah, and you know what? You brought up a good point. It is narcissism, and, and the fact is there's a problem with the left, especially because they think their opinions make them better people. Yeah. That, that, so because and, you're for climate change and environmentalists, I'm okay with that. That's your opinion. But don't make it. But that doesn't make you a better person. Yeah. And, and certainly, uh, certainly, dragging it into every single aspect of life, it, it, it just gets tiring. It's a religion a to them. That's the but problem. That, that that's exactly what it is. It, it's it's sort of uh, it's sort of like you know the the early Christians being told to go out and preach to everybody, and uh, it's their religion. So they they think uh, that they're doing us a favor by doing this, but uh, they're not. Certainly not. Yeah, so go back, uh, go out back and eat with the dog. <laughs> See, I mean, that's what I've I, been told I, that before. I don't have a dog. <laughs> I don't have a backyard either, for that matter. Uh, go out on the porch and uh, eat with the guy that smokes upstairs, because <laughs> that's who's going to be out there. It's going to be eight, nineteen degrees on Thanksgiving Day, and if someone came to my house and preached this stuff, uh, they'd be sitting out on the porch eating out of a dog. I'd buy a dog dish just to dump the stuff in. Okay, what do we have going on in sports? We have camel football. Okay, uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. News Radio 1270, 1067, KIML. The best interviews always. Don Carpenter on News Radio 1270 and 1067 FM, KIML. 